Hey, it's Corey from Laboratory again, and today we make a Laboratory original, a Pokemon water fountain that you can make yourself at home. Welcome back. So for this project we'll need to buy a couple of things outside of the normal 3D print. You'll need to purchase a USB water pump. Now we've designed this file around the one you can currently see. It's on eBay for around $5 Australian I think including postage so it's not all that expensive and it worked quite well. Uh, you'll also need to get a bowl. I ended up just purchasing a dog bowl that was from Kmart. I think it was three or $4. Again, not overly that expensive. So as you can see with the design, we've got the little hole in the mouth. We've got a hole in the bottom which goes up through his leg and through his mouth and then we've also got a hole on the side which will let the water through to our pump. So it's going to go through that hole and up and out. So I'm just going to give this a quick light prime and sand and hopefully I can get it to look pretty good. Now that we've finished painting the water fountain, and boy does it look amazing, next step is to drill out the bowl. Now normally for this you'd want to use a diamond tip drill bit, but we didn't have any on hand, so we ended up using a masonry tip drill bit, and just using some water, and with the hammer function turned off and going slowly, we managed to get a hole through really, really well. Next we had to cut the wires on the USB lead. Now there's only two wires in this, as it's only a powered USB lead, it doesn't use a communication wires. To join the wires back together, all we did was solder the two and put some heat shrink over and then one layer of heat shrink over the top of everything. And we're all done. Now guys, don't forget to test before you actually glue anything down with Squirtle and the pump to work, because it is a bit fiddly trying to get it to have the right amount of water coming out with distance and thickness. Now there is a control on the pump that lets you adjust how much total water is coming out of the pump. But I ended up also drilling out Squirtle's mouth just a little bit because I think a little bit of paint got inside that made the hole smaller and thus made it, the stream of water coming out of his mouth thinner but more pressurised so it went longer. So I drilled it out, made it a bit thicker, the water was thicker coming out and it comes out perfectly now. We decided just to use hot glue but if we had our time again we'd probably use some double sided suction cups. Now if you like this video don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.